Hello and welcome to tutorial number 35 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover one of the one of the, one of the most well I wouldn't say fundamental but one of the most known parts of Visual Basic that we haven't gone over yet which is arrays now first of all before I start this tutorial I'd just like to say um, I haven't had any sleep last night I had an all nighter and it's 3 p.m. so please forgive me if I seem distracted or like um, I stutter or just like I did there because I'm I'm really tired right now so you know it's pretty hard to make this tutorial but I'm gonna make it anyway so go ahead and create a new project and just call it using arrays okay so what an array is is it's like a variable but with multiple values so let's say we have a variable cars but we want so let's say we have a string, sorry, cars, and let's say we want that to hold multiple car names. We just all we would do is declare that as, as an array, and then just say like cars zero is this, cars one is this, etc. So for this, we're going to use a simple message box application, and I know that I said I'll try and get away from message box applications, but I just want you to understand the concept of this first before you start using them. I don't want to confuse you with advanced applications before you even know what this is so just change the text of this button to message array and double click it okay so inside this sub we're going to first of all declare our array now we do this similar to declaring variables which is we type dim which for declare and then we're going to give need to give our array a name so for this we're going to Create a bit, sorry, an array that that has TV shows. So we're going to say dim TV shows as a string. Now you see here that would be how you would declare a normal, just a normal string. Or to declare an array, you go back here to where the name of it is, and then we'll add open bracket, and then we need to say how many how many items are going to be in this array. So for now, we're just going to have four items, and then end the bracket. Well, it will really be five items because we start at zero, but that's where it's going to go up to. So once we've declared TV shows for as a string, we can now start giving each part of our array a value. So first of all, we always start at zero in arrays. So we'll say TV shows, and then in brackets zero, equals, and then we'll give this a value. So let's say we want TV show zero to be South Park. And then next line we'll say TV, whoops, TV shows one is equal to Family Guy. TV shows two is equal to American Dad. And TV shows three is equal to The Simpsons. And TV shows four is equal to Supernatural. Okay, so what we have here is an array, and we're saying, okay, it goes up to four in the, well, the parts of the array, and each, here we're just assigning each part of the array with a string value, so TV show zero is so far, one is family guy, etc. So now we have these, what can we do with them? Well, to use them, you'd use them just like you'd use a variable, by typing, say, message box dot show. TV shows array number zero is, and then we'll add TV shows zero. I'm just going to message box the value of TV shows zero, which is South Park. So let's just debug this. Okay, so message the array. And it'll say TV shows array number zero is South Park. So that's basically what an array is and how you would add items to an array and use an array. But now I'm going to show you how to loop through an array. Now, in a previous tutorial, we covered the for loop, and that's exactly what we're going to use to loop through these arrays. So down here, we're going to type for i equals zero because we're starting with zero two 
TV shows dot length and it's going to find the length of TV shows minus one. And the reason it's doing this is um whoops, what have done wrong here? Oh sorry, it's add the next. Okay. But well, the reason it's a minus one is TV shows dot length is one, two, three, four, five. But you'll notice because we start at zero that it ends at four. So if we were going okay for i equals zero to TV shows dot length, that would go all the way up to five, and we don't have a TV shows five, so it would come up with an error. Okay, so what we're do going to do for i equals zero to TV shows dot length minus one, we're going to message box dot show TV shows and then in brackets i because each time i will increment by one so first of all it's a zero and it's going to say tv show zero which is this one next time it's going to be incremented to one it's going to say tv shows one which is this one and etc it's going to go all the way until the end and then it's going to just end it so let's just debug this and we'll start off with South Park, Family Guy, American Dad, Simpsons and Supernatural so that's that's how you loop through an array and that's pretty much it for this tutorial now arrays may seem pretty use, useless to you right now but in third tutorials you really realize why they they are really useful it's like when you split splitting stuff up and stuff so you know just make sure you've learned this if you didn't understand it go back over it um, if you have any questions about arrays then just leave a comment um, if you have any suggestions or requests also leave a comment and please subscribe and rate the video thanks